Hey everyone, I didn't think I would be able to record this um, month, but I'm gonna try it out. If there's a days I skipped, there's days I skipped. Um, we're having, say, um, I don't want to say too much because it's like personal business. I'll just say there's personal stuff going on in my life right now that is, um, could highly possibly be stressful. We'll see what happens, but currently right now uh, yeah just yeah i don't really know how to talk about it please don't ask me down in the comments below it's very personal i would rather not bring it up the people who need to know need to know and those are my closest friends here on the internet uh, I need to get my book, but my reading journal. So hold on one second. Okay, I have my reading journal here. So I have already gotten a bingo. I'll show you right now. I got a bingo up here across the top. I'm pretty close to a bingo here in the middle. I just need um, Captain Planet, which is Read a Diverse Author. And I think that is pretty much it on really close to a bingo. But here's my bingo board. Here's the stickers that are on my bingo board. So you could see which ones I've marked off and which I haven't. So for published, I decided if you see my live on Instagram, you already know, but if you're not on Instagram and you didn't see it and you're not following me, then you don't know. Publish, I'm deciding to do First Evil because it was published in 1992 and I was born in the 90s and published is read the decade you were born in. 90s horror, I was going to do Stein, of course, because he's my favorite, but I'm going to try Christopher Pike. I'm doing Spooksville Aliens something aliens hold on it's right here on my hoopla so i can check it out super fast and um aliens in the sky is the one i'm gonna do for that so that would knock that off okay so what i have knocked off so far which was saved by the bell is a book with great friendships um I used that for, I read a Rugrats comic book and they have amazing friendships in Rugrats because all the babies are friends. American Dragon is from Dragons in a Bag, which is read a book with dragons. Pokemon, read a childhood favorite cartoon. I read, I watched Invader Zim with my son. Um, hey Arnold, I listened to a Hey Arnold book on YouTube because there's like two on YouTube. I listen to Summer Love, Keenan and Kel, Favorite Childhood Snack. I had some hot Cheetos. I used to eat hot Cheetos. Can, like my mom could not get me to stop eating hot Cheetos. It was ridiculous. Uh, Sister Sister, which is read a book of twins. Um, I read the comic book Rugrats and Phil and Lil are twins and they're inside the book. Sabrina, read a book with witch. Uh, and A Dragon's in a Bag, His Grandma is a Witch, Scooby-Doo, Read a Mystery, I read a Scooby-Doo book, um, Free Space, obviously, Powerpuff Girls, read a graphic book, manga, or comic, I read the Rugrats comic, Power Rangers, read a book with rainbow colors, the, um, Rugrats book that I read is super colorful, so I used that. Uh, Wild Thornberries, read a book with talking animals and dragons in a bag. There's a rat that talks to him and his granddad. So, um, Courage, read a book in the dark. I read Scooby-Doo, uh, when my husband was going to work. I had the, like, early in the morning because he leaves the house by 5 o'clock, so it's still dark outside. So I read that in the dark. And Arthur, read a book 
from the library and I had gotten dragons in the back from the library. So that's where I'm at inside of here. Um, I had a really good brainstorming sesh with Bonnie yesterday. I enjoyed it. It helped me a lot with my book that I'm writing. I have not, I have DNF'd one book, which was Canadian Boyfriend. Just, I didn't like it. I didn't like the author's writing. I didn't like that she pushed the main girl's eating disorder on you. Uh, that's pretty much it. I am going to be picking up physically. I'm going to be picking up Always and Only You for the Franklin prompt, which is read a sports book. I am, like I said, going to be listening to um, Spooksville for 90s author. Um, that's what I've gotten so far. I figured out what I was going to do for the Bratz prompt, which is dress up as a favorite character from the 90s. Cartoon character, TV show character from the 90s. Anyone from, well, 90s and 80s that you grew up with. Uh, I decided who I'm going to do. I just need to get some stuff for it, which is going to be super easy. It's a super, super, super easy cosplay to do. I'll just say cosplay. Um, and if I want, I can continue to do it like using it as a Halloween costume and whatnot. And I'm excited. I just need to get the materials for it. Well, materials. I just need to get the outfit, basically. Uh, I don't want to tell anyone what I'm going to be. I will reveal it here on the channel when I get the stuff that I need. And I will be posting it on Instagram. If any of you are participating and you're going to do the Bratz prompt, just tag me, Bonnie, and Alicia down below inside of your either if you're going to show it on youtube or on instagram or where you decide to show it just let us know so we could go check it out i think it would be totally fun and i might shoot for a blackout bingo board this year we'll see what happens but as of right now i do have one bingo and i'm excited and stoked about it it's not the bingo i thought it was going to get to be honest but I did. So, uh, I'm going to get off here and I shall talk to you all later. Bye. So, I finished Spooksville Aliens. Hold on one second. I forget the name of the title. I'm sorry, Slime Princess. Spooksville, Aliens in the Sky. I gave it a 4.75 by Christopher Pike. It was a very good book. I thoroughly enjoyed it. My very first Christopher Pike book ever. Never read him before. I know, shocking. But uh, it was very good. So it's about a group of kids who are trying to figure out what they're going to do during a hot summer day and they end up going to this lake and uh, UFOs start coming down and one of them is so interested inside inside so interested in space and everything he decides to go up into the UFO one thing leads to another and they realize that they've been taken captive. They're trying to convince their the younger alien that they were held against their will. And he fought for their right to be put back to Earth, basically. It's very interesting. So, I finished that while I was waiting outside for the uh, total lunar eclipse. And... Well, I don't know if it was a loon, but I waited out, get down, I waited outside for the eclipse, listening to that, while little guy wanted to be outside also, so get down, Sebastian, get down, so that was pretty fun, finished that, so I decided to pick up a different book, and I have gotten the Codex by Elizabeth Acevedo for... Uh, the readathon or the nostalgicathon, and I am seventy something percent into that book. Also, sorry, I'm folding laundry. That's why you keep seeing me 
moving my head back and forth. Get down, Sebastian, now. I am currently 75% into the Poet X. Uh, still was listening to it while the uh, eclipse was going on, and then I had to go over to my mom's and let her dogs out to go to the bathroom, let them outside to stretch their legs and do what they needed to do, played with them for a bit. Then little guy wanted to go to Walmart. We, we went, but we didn't go inside because he didn't tell me what he wanted to go in there for. He just kept... Like, he wasn't speaking, so I was like, oh, we're not going to go in if you're not going to tell me. So we didn't go inside. Then he decided that he wanted to go to the Dollar Tree, so we went to the Dollar Tree, and then he got some doors because he's doing the Disney doors now. He's trying to get the cars that are in this series that he's trying to collect. And then... He wanted to go to McDonald's, so we went to McDonald's for him. Came home, chilled out for a bit. Then I just got done doing the dishes because I was really tired and lazy last night and didn't do them after dinner. Um, right now, I'm probably going to get copywritten for that freaking song so right now i am folding laundry as you see and then i'm gonna put it away and figure out what i'm gonna do next i might just listen to the rest of the poet x to uh, just finish it off today and while I finish it off I might just play my Disney game um, I wasn't playing any video games for a while and then recently I picked up Dreamlight Valley again and got back into it so I really want to play today see what I can get done there today that's pretty much hey, all that's been going on let's see who texted me oh my sister um yeah that's pretty much what's been going on we're not going to target it's too far away <sighs> take him to target once over the weekend and he feels like he has to go all the freaking time now it's so irritating target is two hours away from us dude we're not going to target no no I don't know why I'm folding this. I put this in the closet. I hang it up. Got me all frazzled, Sebastian. Jeez. But this is my reading update for today. Today is Monday, the 8th of April. I shall chat with y'all later. Good morning, my fellow human beings. So, yesterday, I did finish um, the Podex by Elizabeth Elizabeth, Elizabeth Acevedo. Oh my god, I cannot speak today. Whew. So, I didn't mark it off on my bingo board, so let's mark it off right now so y'all can see. Okay, so, let's mark off... Fresh Prince, read a book in verse because Podex is in verse. It's like slam poetry. So, let's see. What's my next? Gonna be... Let's use a lightning bolt. And 
And I'm going to also mark off Captain Planet, which is read a diverse author, and Elizabeth Acevedo is a diverse author. So, there's that. So, got a bingo here and a bingo here. Almost have a bingo this way. Just need two more. Uh, two more for a bingo here. Two more for a bingo here. Actually, it's going to be one more because I did finish Christopher Pike's um, Spooksville. Uh, Elizabeth Acevedo's book. Uh, Podex, I gave a 5 out of 5 stars. So good. I will definitely be picking up more of her books. And Christopher Pike, Spooksville, um, I gave a 4 out of 5. Which what I'm using for the 90s horror, which is... 90s horror. Read a 90s horror author like Stein, Pike, V.C. Andrews, whoever we're going to read. Um, so, I could get a bingo here also. I just need the Franklin prompt. Uh, let's see, what else? Close to a bingo on a pretty much all of them. Close to a, a one bingo here on I for published, which I'm going to be doing, um, Fear Street's First Evil for published. And, let's see, I don't remember what the Rugrats prompt was. What was, Rugrats was Read a Found Family, I believe. Let's find out. For sure, make sure I'm not making it up. Yep, Rugrats Found Family, okay. So, I have a book for As Told by Ginger, so I can l read that really fast because it's a short book. I can read that. And I'm going to need to find a, oh, I'm pretty close to a bingo this way. And I'm pretty close to a bingo this way, too. So I need to find a Nancy Drew, because I've never read Nancy Drew. And I need to read a Nancy Drew. I've read Hardy Boys before. I've read Trixie Belden before, but never Nancy Drew. I need to find a Nancy Drew to read. I need to find a Babysitter's Club to read, because I've never read Babysitters. So I need to do that. I have a book for published for As Told by Ginger, for Franklin... For Jimmy Neutron, and I just need to find a book for Harriet, Rugrats, and Babysitters. And for Bratz, what I'm going to do for Bratz, I just need, like I said yesterday, just get the outfit that I need. Um, part of it I have to order on Amazon, the other half I just got to get from Walmart, which is cool. And then I will pretty much have a blackout bingo, which is awesome. So, how is everyone's, what's today, Tuesday? How's everyone's Tuesday doing? Uh, how far are you in the bingo board? Here, I'll show everyone my bingo board, um, where all my stickers are at and everything. Uh, hopefully everyone can see where I've got my bingos and where the stickers are at and all that and what else I need to do. Let's see, my plans for today. I just got back from um, letting my mom's dogs out, feeding them, giving them water, playing with them for a bit. The rest of the day, it's just to chill out at home. Um, I will probably start one of the books I have today. I might start First Evil because it sounds like fun. And I know I could get through that pretty quick. Um, if I have to do anything around the house, I might just pop in Babysitter's Club or Nancy Drew, whatever one I can find, and do that. I know I can read really quick, quick the book I have for As Told by Ginger. Mm. I don't have a lot of stuff to do today. The house is pretty much picked up from yesterday and last night we try to pick it up before we go to bed and i try to do the dishes every night before i go to bed there's like a few dishes here and there from like a little bit one pan from dinner because i had to swap it to a different pan because we didn't have a lid for the big uh cake pan 
So I have to do that. Have to make lunch for me and little guy. Um, my room is not super messy. His room is a mess, y'all. Like, I gotta go in there and tackle all those toys. Because his room is full of toys right now. It's a mess. Other than that, it's gonna be a pretty chill Tuesday for us. We'll probably go out there. Out there, I meant, like, out there. Out that door. Out that, out the door. Uh, so he can play. Depending on how the weather's gonna do. Right now, it is really cold. Like, I think it rained last night. It feels really cold. Let's see what the temp is outside. It says it's 53, but it feels like 49. So it's, it's, it's cold. We're supposed to get rain tonight. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, did anyone watch the eclipse yesterday? Were you in the totality of the eclipse where it was really, really dark? I wish I could have witnessed that with my own eyes. That would have been breathtaking. I would have bawled my eyes out. Um... It did get dim here, not like super dark like it's supposed to be. It did get dim. I did get some pictures of it, which is cool. I got a little bit of video for it because um, my mom wasn't able to witness it. So I took pictures for her and videos for her, obviously, and for my own just memories for me because I'm a huge space buff, if y'all didn't know. Like, huge space bar. Oh, and the cherry on the top. My husband got me a Lego set last night that could be, um, you could, it's like those three in one Lego sets. So you could do a space shuttle, you could do an astronaut, or you could do like a, like a weird looking spaceship. I did the space shuttle because, I don't know, there's just something, the design about the space shuttle. I just love it. I love how pristine and white it is. It's just... Love it. Um, yeah. This is a pretty long update, but I didn't update you guys. Or... I didn't update you all after... Uh, I don't even know if I updated you all on... Um, Christopher oh, Pike's book. But I'm pretty sure I did. Wait, <sighs> Yeah. Um, might chat with Bonnie later to see what she's up to. Well, I mean, I talk to Bonnie every single day. So, we'll see what happens. See how everyone's doing. I might do another live on Instagram just to check in. See how everyone's doing. This is, what, the second week of April? So, I might just pop in, see what everyone's up to. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It is fairly early in the morning. It's about 9.57, about ready to be 10 o'clock. So I might just chill out and pick up a book just to uh, start my morning off with. Or I might find an audiobook so I can play my Disney Dreamlight Valley game. Because playing a video game right now sounds like a lot of fun. Uh... I might get some more coffee. I don't know. Oh. We'll see what happens. But I will chat with y'all later for an update on how my reading's doing. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. Hello, everyone. So today I'm going to be tackling little guy's bedroom. That's why you see those tubs that are right here. And we also got this for his TV and his books. Because, yes, believe it or not, my son does have books. Because I'm a book person. And I would really love him to be a book person. <laughs> um, so I'm going to build this Better Homes and Garden 4 Cube Organizer. Hopefully I can do it without hubby today. If not, I'll just put it aside and let him build it when he gets home. Then we'll do that. But yes, today is tackle little guy's room. Pick up the house. Like, things here and there. Uh, I gotta do laundry today, especially bedding. Today is clean the bedding day. 
We just got back from take, from taking care of my mom's pups. And, uh, yeah. If I seem low energy right now, I'm just really tired. I'm waiting for my coffee to kick in. I didn't have a lot of my coffee today, so I'm just going to probably drink my Starbucks bottle that I have in there that my husband got me to feel more awake. But, yeah. I'm going to get off here and build this because I don't know how long it's going to take me. And I don't want it to fill up on that. I'll show you when it's done. If I finish it or if my husband finishes it. Okay, bye. Okay, everyone. I literally just finished the cube. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Super simple. Here's a cube. Don't mind the mess in my living room. I have to clean. But here it is. Um, I would show you a before and after of my son's room, but it's a complete mess and I don't want you to see it. And I had to move his bed out of his room to get everything organized the way it needs to be organized. So his bed's currently not in his room right now. And I'm, we're going to be using this for his TV and his books and stuff. Maybe he'll put toys in it. We'll see what happens. And what else? Like, I, I'm, yeah, I'm going to get off here and go tackle his room. Hello, friends. I'm literally about ready to finish this Nancy Drew book. It's Nancy Drew, The Hidden Staircase. Um, I presume it's number two because it has a flashlight with a two on it. Uh, by Carol Keene. And I... I'm probably going to be giving it a three star. It's not bad. I mean, my very for my very first Nancy Drew book, but not a favorite. Um, it's okay. I could see why people liked it at the time, though. It's very, it's interesting. It keeps you engaged. So I'm going to be knocking off the Harriet Spy prompt, and I made another bingo diagonally. Which is pretty cool. So I have two bingos now. And I'm pretty close to... I'm um, pretty close to this bingo. I need two more here. And two more here. And I literally have a blackout bingo board. I need one, two, three, four, five. I need five prompts. And I have a blackout bingo board. This is wild. I didn't think it was going to happen. We are currently um, on... Today is the... What is today? Today is the 12th of April. And I'm literally... What did I say? Four or five away? One, two, three, four, five. Five away for a blackout bingo board. And... That's pretty awesome. Today was payday. Uh, we did uh, some shopping today. Me and little guy did some shopping. I had to go to Wally. I had to pick up some new paint brushes because um, I'm starting to get back into painting and I'm loving it a lot. Um, had to do that, then we went to the Dooler Tree because I had to get another paintbrush that I couldn't find at Wally. Um, so I just used a makeup brush because it's easier. Because that's, I mean, they that's all they really had. Uh, I need to get some more canvases because I don't have any more canvases and I really need to get some more. Let's see what else happened. We went to... MD, if you don't know what MD is, I can't really say it because he's right there, and if I say it, he's just gonna want it. But MD, I'll just say that. <laughs> this is tea, by the way, unsweetened tea. Uh, came home, picked up some stuff, then we had to go to the library because he had some books due. So, did that. Mm, what else? That's pretty much it. So I just finished the Nancy Drew whilst I was talking to you. And uh, like I said, it's going to be a three star. Not a bad book. I can understand why people liked it. I uh, might pick up more. We'll see what happens. I don't know. We'll see. Um, 
I got a Babysitter's Club book through the library. I got, and I've never read a Babysitter's Club book ever. I got Claudia and the Phantom Phone Calls. I was supposed to read this last year for our bingo, but I never did. Let me do that. Phantom Phone Calls, Claudia. Uh, this is by N. M. Martin. So I'll probably send that over to my Kindle so I can read it. I have not finished Fester Grimm by Thomas Taylor. I need to finish that. I might just put a pause on the book for now and wait till I get it physically because I love reading the Eerie books physically and I do own the first three and I would love to own the fourth and fifth one when it comes out. But yeah, so I'm super close to a blackout. I need to... Oh my goodness, I was at Wally and I needed to get some stuff for my Bratz prompt. Oh my glob. Wow. Okay. I need to order the first uh, for I need to order the top for top for my Bratz prompt from Amazon cuz that's the only place I could find it. Um the bottoms I can get from Wally. -E. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I might be able to find, because my son's other thing to it isn't here. So I might be able to find a plush at Wally. -E. I don't know. We'll see what happens. This is a long update. I haven't really been updating this too much. Um,. My mom got home yesterday, so I didn't have to go today to take care of the puppers. So, cool. Although it was, it did keep me going through the day. Uh, yeah. So, I think I'm going to, oh, goodness gracious. I think I'm going to pick up my Kindle and read... Babysitters. I just got some um, books from the library today for little guy. One, two of them were actually for me. They're like some space books. I might use those as my sci-fi prompts. I don't know. We'll see. I did pull out Andy Ware's Artemis for sci-fi. I really want to read Artemis. I don't know what's stopping me from reading it. I have the book over there physically. I need to read it. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see what happens. What happens with getting into a book. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I'm going to get off here. I'll chat with y'all when I have another update for reading or the bingo board. Okay, bye.